Hi, I'm Christoph Chu with Coal Banker Previews International in Beverly Hills. But I've had the privilege of spending the last week here in beautiful Dubai in the United Arab, Arab Emirates with our friends here from Coal Banker United Arab Emirates. It's been an amazing week, a truly wonderful experience to learn about the real estate market here in Dubai, the operations of what they do here in Dubai, and I'm thrilled to have here my friend Ayman Youssef, the Vice President of Coal Banker here in the Emirates, to share with us a little bit more about their company, what they're doing here in this vibrant and fascinating city, truly the heart and crown jewel of the Middle East. So thank you, Iman, for your graciousness this week and your hospitality. Thank you for coming, Christopher. <laughs> we had a great time and uh, we enjoyed your company a lot. We learned a lot from you and we learned a, a lot about your market and it's been very interesting. Thank you. Well, more for me, I got to learn about the graciousness and hospitality and your market. But I was so fascinated to learn this week that not only are you a sales company with agents selling real estate, yes. you do leasing of real estate. So if you yes. buy yeah. one of these beautiful villas or apartments, yeah. you have them to help manage it and lease it for you. But also you do development of projects and help large major investors come here and decide yeah. where to buy and how to put it. So tell yeah. us about what you do here with your United Arab operations. Yeah. We, we were so lucky to start in 2005 here in Dubai. And at that time, it was like the real estate market was booming. And uh, we had the chance to help a lot of developers who were acquiring plots to, to, to do for them a highest and best use analysis, yes. help them get the right architect and consultant, and just to get it uh, on the exclusive uh, sales uh, side. So, so we help developers uh, get the best out of their developments, and we become their exclusive agent to sell their projects. Yeah, it's wonderful. So for me, if you have clients, you know, part of our coal banker global company, which we truly are, a lot of the investors are coming from around the world. I think it's over 200 nationalities here in Dubai, correct? Yes, yes. yes. It's, it's, it's like a melting pot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Truly even, a melting even pot. Even here in this <laughs> office, we have probably like 20 nationalities, which we really enjoy. It's, it's, it's like, true. Yeah, when it's I sat amazing, down yeah. Yeah. and uh, came here to speak, looking at all the different cultures and uh, the people that are living here, working here, and thriving in this wonderful community. So one of the things they do, which I love, is if you have investors from around the world, they want to put money on a small scale or a large scale, really the company here has the ability to handle it all for you. Um, part of why I came is I have a number of clients both living in Los Angeles, New York as well, and a lot in Europe and other parts of the world, India, that own properties here or are looking to invest here both on a residential level for vacation homes or, homes or for investments. So I wanted to come, even though I've been friends with Iman since we met the first time a few years ago. Yes, in Jen Blue. In Jen Blue in New York, I think it was. Yeah, later on you came, visit us. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I love is in our company we have the ability to pick up the phone and call the pre vice president of CoBanker and have the right person to help handle clients for referrals when I'm sending them over here. Or vice versa when they're sending referrals out of the U.S. So aside from the development aspect of what you do, yeah. you're doing really well with residential sales. You've just opened a fourth office at uh, Jumeirah Beach, I believe, right? Yes, we do, yeah. Jumeirah Village South, it's our fourth branch. We have four branches in Dubai, and uh, yes, we have to extend. We have an aggressive expansion plan in the pipeline. Yes, exactly. And what are the primary four or five countries that are investing here on a commercial level for big projects and then individually? The, the, the Dubai property is just uh, the, the government of Dubai just released the statistics about who invests here the most. Okay. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, there are a lot of uh, international presence here in the yes. market and a lot of international interest. So the number one client was coming from India and then followed by uh, Saudi Arabia and then the UK, we have Pakistan on the top 10. Yeah. Uh, we started to see a flow from the US for the first time. Yes. Uh, yes. It's not like they are not one of the top 10 uh, investors in, in real estate in Dubai, but we're, we're seeing the flow coming. It, it's quite a global, it is. interesting place. And yeah. They're not here yet only because I don't think they really discovered this part of the world as of quite yet. Yes. But this yeah. is my first time to the Middle East and now that I have discovered it, I have a new vacation destination. And I'm in Los Angeles, so obviously it's the furthest distance from the Middle East. Yeah. You hop on the Emirates plane, and it's not even like an air flight. I mean, you're like living in your living room, relaxing all the way. It's easy to get here, so don't worry about that. And I feel that this is still a huge opportunity when we're driving around. There's almost more buildings being constructed than buildings that are here. Yes. So yes. I think there's a lot of opportunities for foreign investors from around the world yeah. to buy, to enjoy them as rentals, to buy them with appreciation. Yeah, um, yeah. What kind of appreciation in your markets have you seen recently here in the we, area? We've seen uh, 
the market in Dubai is quite dynamic, so it, there is a little bit of fluctuation going on. Sure. And it was like typical, like what happened in the US in 2008, it, there was like substantial growth <laughs> from 2002 all the way up till 2008, right. and then you have to go through a downtrend cycle. Right. But generally speaking, uh, real estate appreciate over time. Yes. Regardless of, of the, the yes. short term trend. Yeah. Well, we went through yeah. that. Uh, for now, we're, uh, we've been going through some uh, uh, since 2012 till end of 2015, right? Now things are like the prices were going up. Now, for the time being, it's going through a stagnation phase. We're yes. expecting a little bit of correction in the near future. Yes. But, but the fundamentals are strong. Like we have a population increase, we have uh, demand, the, the, the economics are doing okay, the, yes. the overall economy, hospitality and retail. There are a lot of plans in Dubai. So, <laughs> So we're, we're quite optimistic about the short and, and long term. Short and long term. Yeah, yeah. When you showed me the photos this morning of what Dubai was in 2005, when you, I think that's when you first opened your offices. When we finished, there was nothing. There was nothing here. Yeah. yeah. There was a picture of the first constructions of the Burj Al Khalifa, which yeah. is the world's tallest building, and I got to see one of their, a uh, few of their listings there the other day on the 102nd floor. Yeah. Truly amazing what has happened. Now it's booming all around with, I don't know, 50 skyscrapers around yeah, the Giza. I, th I think even more, it's, it's, yeah, and the good thing is that we came just on the right time. Yes. So you feel like part of it, like like we, we consulted developers, we were part of the development management to, to some of our clients, and, and these developments that we uh, were part of are now being handed over or handed over, so it's yes. because we are part of, of, of the story, which, yes. which is great. And part of what I wanted to share for all of you in Cobo Banker is that we truly are, as we know, a global company. And there's huge investments from many, many foreigners, considering there's 200 plus nationalities living here in Dubai. And the locals only count for about 7 or 8%, so it's yeah. mostly foreigners. Yeah, right? it is, it is, yeah, yeah. So this is an opportunity for you, perhaps, to think about exploring this area. Maybe, whether it's online to start with, or actually taking a flight, whether you're in India, you're in China, or you're in Europe, um, come to Dubai, experience this amazing city. Yeah. Uh, call them up and take a half a day or so to explore what's out here. Um, because I know my, a part of why I came again is for specific clients looking at properties. They wanted my opinion. And now that I've been here, I have nothing but wonderful things to say about this amazing town. And I feel so, even though I knew my friends here from Coal Banker, having spent this wonderful time with them, I really have such a solid person and a group that I feel so comfortable with sending my referrals to. So it's important to know that you have someone here and a great company behind you that can really help you with those global referrals coming here into Dubai. And of course, for the Dubai clients, once you develop those relationships, they'll be thinking of you with their referrals to your cities. Definitely, yeah. yeah. And But you love coming to Gen Blue, and why is one of the reasons you love to come to Gen Blue? Gen Blue is like an amazing event because uh, uh, there, there are a lot of companies out there who provide like uh, a global referral network. Right. Networks. Right. But Coldwell Banker helped us develop the relationship. Yes. I met with you four years ago, right? That's and right. Jen Blue, and, and this is, we, is a face, there is nothing compete with a face to face relationship, right? Yes. You and a real you. connection. A real someone, connection. Now yes. I know you. If I have a client who's interested in Beverly Hills, I'll call you straight away. I'll be very comfortable. The level of trust is already there. Yes. The connection is there. We know each other. I know what you're capable of doing to my client. I'll be very comfortable. I'd be very happy actually to, to promote your business here and vice versa. And that's the same way I feel as well. So for those of you out there, if you haven't been to Gen Blue, the international conference, you've got to make it to Gen Blue. Particularly if you live in a, if you work in a marketplace that has a lot of foreign buyers, or from even just not even foreign buyers, but buyers from different cities in the US. There's no other platform, and I go to many conferences where you truly meet the best of the best of real estate agents from around the world, commercial, residential, yeah. development side. And not only that, if you like to travel, what a great way to grow your business, help other people grow their businesses by working with our clients that want to invest around the world and travel and buy vacation homes here. Um, I know it's something I'd like to do because uh, now that we have a new favorite place to come, Dubai, yeah. we plan to come more. And again, the hospitality and the graciousness of the Arabic culture is really, really wonderful. And uh, it's something you'll truly, truly enjoy. So. I've been so thrilled to be here. And do you have any final thoughts you want to share? I just with want it? to share about Gen Blue as well. For us, it's uh, it's not only a platform for connecting with others. It's definitely yeah. connecting with others is, is a value added for the event. Right. But we're kind of getting recharged. 
Yes. This is like an annual boost for us. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. mentioned that the it first is, time. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because we learn about the brand and what the brand stands for. Yes. yes. So so it's 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 like we have uh, more belief of what yes. we're doing. Yes. It's like it's like it, uh, when, when we come back, we come up with with it's, it's always like a fresh perspective about what we do. So it's like we yes. get a lot of energy. <laughs> And we, I want to, we yes. know people, and, and it's it's like it's impact our culture. Yes, yeah. and really, we are truly a global family at Co-Banker. I feel that way. It is. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I mean, I can pick up the phone and call my Dubai friends, my friends in China, uh, Italy, France, now England, uh, just all over the world. And you know, we have become a global. I mean, a, a very small world. It's no longer the world is shrinking. It's shrinking, yeah. it's shrinking it is. exactly. Yeah, it's really, yeah. and not only that, coming here for real estate and looking at properties for clients, but just on the parties we've been to with other friends. We've met uh, many new people. We've seen about 25 friends of ours from all over the world here. Yeah. Some of them we knew were going to be here, others that kind of just happened to be here and saw on social media we were here. So it's kind of amazing and fun to have that. So so it doesn't stop in the conference. That's right. right. That's right. Like, like, see, when you came here to Dubai, we met in the office and you had your presentation about social media, which was, thank you so much for doing oh, it. Oh, thank you. And it had a great impact on us because you're an expert and this is what you do and this is your success. And uh, and you shared it with everyone, and uh, it, it had a real impact. Like everyone is sharing more oh, on social good. media. <laughs> but it was great. Uh, so it's the same when we go to the conference. It's it's beyond the conference. Right. Like you came to Dubai, and then uh, we we partied together. We went to the <laughs> Formula One, to the boat party. It was amazing. We really enjoyed your. Company it wasn't just here. partying. We were partying with one of the sheikhs of Abu Dhabi yes, at Formula yeah. One in penthouses on private yachts. Truly really an amazing, amazing experience. All thanks yeah. to Cole Banker and starting that foundation of the first relationship of our first meeting four years ago. Yeah. So um, it just really take advantage of the opportunities at Cole Banker. Come to the Gen Blue conferences and make it a point to make those connections around the world. You never know when a client says they want to invest in a foreign country or outside of your marketplace. So take the time to invest in those relationships. The company's been doing this for over a hundred years now. Yeah. So whether you're in real estate for a year, two years, or five years, start in your own personal investment in your career and your clients so you can always provide them the best services. Oh, and I know what I wanted to say. I've noticed an amazing culture you have developed for your company and offices with yeah. all of your agents. You are a family here yeah. that's part of the Cole Banker Global family. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your culture here that you've created for the co-banker offices. The, the thing in Dubai is, Dubai, you know, like LA, we, we, we were discussing this, there is a very uh, big competition out there, right? And we have to stand out of this this competition. We have three thousand brokerage company competing with us, and Dubai is quite small, right? So we believe in providing the best culture, and we went to Gem Blue, and we get to know more about the values and what we believe yes. in. And we came back, so we started to change our style. Yeah, uh, we 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 came up with a lot of uh, initiatives like uh, like being healthy, exercise. We go together on a weekly basis to to uh, we we have the CV run, which is uh, we go running uh, in a yes, jogging for one that. hour. Yeah, we uh, we've done our uh, we do a lot of events like uh, like our annual event. What last year was like a talent show where yes. everyone performed, and we took it very serious. Yes, and it yes. was a great team working experience and. Uh, our, the way we run our sales meeting is before the managers used to uh, take the meeting from the beginning till the end. Then we do a lot of panels, which is an right. idea that we got from Jim Blue. And I learned about it, Jim Blue. And I think you've been part of these panels for, for quite some time. Yes. So when we have four top producers talking about how they do it, right. so we get we get a lot of ideas. We, we, we get a lot of understanding of our values, and this right. helps us with creating a better culture. And, uh, and becoming more competitive to get the best talents in the market. Exactly. Yeah. And one of the things I love about it as well is that they take the time. I remember the last few times there were five to ten agents from Coal Bank or Dubai at the Gen Blue conferences. Yes, yeah, yeah. The owners and the vice president and some of the top agents take the time to come to the U.S. for the international conference to learn, to grow, to network. But by doing that, they now truly understand the American culture. Just like my coming here, I now have a really pretty significant understanding of the Arabic culture. So when the, the clients from the Middle East come to me, I can understand their customs, how they do business. They have done the same thing coming to the US. So let's use the power of Coal Banker, truly one of the world's most powerful international brands, 
take advantage of the opportunities the company provides us from JetBlue, from yeah. all of the offices around the world. Yeah. Let's make our world an even smaller place. And in doing so, we will help our clients get what they want, whether it's in your local small town or around the world, anywhere in the world, or any city in the world. With GoBanker, we have the opportunities and the platform to really create and help our clients to achieve their real estate goals the best that they can do, right? Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Any yeah. final thoughts? I uh, just want to thank you, Christopher, again. It's, it's amazing. You came here all the way, and you, you spent the day with us, and we got to learn more about you and what you do. You shared your experience with our team. But thank you so much for coming. Well, thank you for your graciousness and hospitality. Yeah. It's been yeah. so much fun. And my final words, if you haven't been to Dubai, been to Dubai. If you haven't been to Dubai, you better come and check it out. Thanks, guys. And thank see you, you for my next stop somewhere in the world. <laughs> <laughs>